welcome to Eye to Eye, where we look at things more deeply to see the truth beneath things. Our guest today is David Arthur Simons, poet, philosopher, filmmaker, writer and painter. He's going to be speaking to us about his new film called 365 Days Out of My Mind. David, you've made a film about yourself. Is it just a scrapbook for yourself or is there something in it for the audience? Watching my life and work develop will make the audience want to explore their own inner depths and discover the hidden worlds within themselves. My film is a living example of what Basho said, do not seek to follow in the footsteps of the wise, but rather seek what they sought. Why did you decide to make a film about something as dull and stationary as painting? After I had finished uh, writing my autobiography about my process of discovering myself through my paintings and drawings, I began to make um, short films um, of episodes from my life. And I thought I could string all these together and make a feature film. Filmmaking is usually a collaborative process, but you've chosen to do practically everything yourself. Can you tell us why you decided to do that? Most of my work has been self-portraiture, so I thought the best way to make a film about my work would be to do everything myself, since that would be an extension of my painting. The film 365 Days Out of My Mind is about you painting 365 paintings simultaneously. H how is that even possible? On May 13, 2005, I began to paint a painting a day. At the end of the first year, I decided to keep adding to each painting, but only on the day designated to each painting. I'm now in my 13th year. I've never heard of such a thing. Where did you get this idea? I came up with it myself. It's an extension of who I am. I tend to work on long, elaborate, complicated projects that don't fit into standard format or a standard uh, product lifespan which is why I decided to make a film about it. What does the title 365 Days Out of My Mind mean? The title refers to the state I go into when I'm painting, a state of no mind. It's a state of meditation where you lose all concepts, all ideas of reality, um, words, meaning, everything disappears. It's a state beyond the mind. You also chose to use fairly basic equipment. I wanted the film to be as close as possible to the process of painting. Each brushstroke I add to a painting is like a frame in a motion picture. So a lot of the animation is done frame by frame so that I could keep control of each step. How long did it take you to make the film? I started in March 2012 and finished in June 2017. Do you think it would have taken you less time if you had used a crew and more state-of-the-art equipment? Probably, but that would have been a different film. I like to let things grow organically. I'm not fixed to deadlines or set requirements which state-of-the-art equipment and crews demand. Why make a film about painting? Isn't that something for an art gallery? I wanted to make a film that showed the trajectory my life has followed through my paintings and drawings over four decades. It's a condensation and distillation of my whole life and philosophy. Do you think the audience will get something out of watching you paint or will they just walk away bored? The film is not just me painting. It's, it's the story of an abused child who grows up through the process of making art and discovers that through art, he can do anything. There are also animated paintings and drawings that make witty remarks. And there are music videos of me singing and dancing, and it's all tied into my painting. So it's a musical mystery thriller with animation. Yes, all the things I hate in a film, but I've made them my own.